Hey guys, King Gath here, and in this video we're going to go over one of the most important items in Sim Settlements, which is the City Planner's Desk. So to get a City Planner's Desk, depending on which mods you have installed, you're going to go either under the Crafting section, or if you have Settlement Menu Manager, you're going to go under Sim Settlements and then Furniture, and you'll find this fancy little desk. Now in your menu, it might look a little bit different than this because it does have things that are spawned after you place it. So I'm going to go in, I have SMM installed, and show you what it looks like. So at first, when you lay it down, it's going to look like this, and then after it's placed, the other items will be added to it. And we're going to talk about what all these different things do because this desk is very multifunctional and is designed to give you access to a whole bunch of things. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a terminal on it and this has a copy of the hollow tape that you use to unlock some settlements. Now the benefit to this version of the hollow tape is that there are certain reports that you can only get access to from a terminal and this allows you access to those. So that's one of those little quirks in Fallout 4 that the Pip Boy doesn't count as a full terminal and so there are certain limitations to what you can do with a hollow tape, but those same limitations don't apply to the terminal. So if you pop in here and you go down to the report section, under the local plot report, that's one of the big ones that's different that uh, will show you actual details about the current settlement you're in. And there are other features like that. So in, in general, you're going to give best information is going to come from the terminal version of the tape as opposed to the one in your Pip-Boy. The other thing the desk is for, if you activate on the actual white part of the desk, is it's actually a crafting station. So you can go in there, you can make yourself different copies of the hollow tape. For example, we've got one set up for people who are using deaf UI. We've got the uh, version with the dash, so it always shows up at the top. You can also build your ASAM sensors here, and then various tools that I will cover in another video that can give you more options for playing with some settlements. Now on top of the terminal and the crafting station, there are also various control objects built into this desk. And those are those items that spawn after you build the desk. So the first up we have is the flag. This little flag on the desk can actually be activated. And depending on which factions you've met, which mods you have installed, and which add-on packs you're using, you'll see a variety of options here. And they allow you to change all of the settlement flags in your settlement. And those would be, for the most part, the ones on your martial plots. But there are other spots you can use those as well, and I'll cover those in a future video. But just know that you can change the flag that some settlements regards as your settlement's main flag uh, by activating the little flag on the desk. All right, next up is the city plan, which is that blueprint section on the desk. So if you activate that, you will bring up this menu. Now this menu might be different for you depending on whether or not you have a city plan applied or depending on what state your current settlement is. But if you were just to build a city planner's desk for the first time, this is the options you would see. So at the top, it lists the name of the settlement. It then tells you who's in charge of it right now, the level and percent to next level that the progress is if you had a city plan applied. Next, we have View City Details, and if you were to activate this, you would bring up a sign, and it would tell you more of that information so you could find out who designed the city plan you're using, what the name of it was, and the current population and level it was at. So this is something you can gain access to also by activating a special sign that's in the settlements, and that uh, in all of the Rise of the Commonwealth, or most of them, we have a special sign you may have noticed that has the name of the settlement, and generally activating those will bring up the same information, and it's a great way to find out who was involved in the design team on a particular build of a settlement you're using. This is especially relevant now that we've got the city plan contest going where there's a lot more designs available for every settlement. You might have lost track of which one you had installed or which one was selected at random if you had multiple. So this is a great way to find out who those authors are so you can pursue more of their work. So then next we have Assigned City Leader. So when you activate this, it's going to bring up a list of leaders. And obviously I have none. This is a uh, fresh save that I've been playing around with. But uh, it would give you a prompt that would show you the leader. And I'll cover that in another video where I'll go over some of the, the leaders, how they work, and things like that. So watch for that in a future video. But just know that once you're ready to assign someone to lead your settlement and gain access to the benefits they provide, you do that from this blueprint menu. And then finally, we have the select city plan. And this is where you would go to assign a city plan to your settlement so that settlers could actually take over the building for you. And again, I'll cover that in its own video because city plans have a lot of depth to them and a lot of information to go over. But just so you know, this is where you would come to assign one to this particular settlement. And from that menu, you can actually select a specific one. So if you had one in mind you wanted to run, you'd be able to do it from there. 
All right, next we have the supplies. So there's a safe down just below the desk there. When you activate that, you will get access to a bunch of information about how your settlement is doing. And these options and information might change depending on what you have enabled and I will cover those in the videos that actually alter these particular things but the information here I'll cover this is the basic stuff that would show up for most of you so upgrade scrap collected if you have the city supplies setting on in the difficulty which is on by default unless you chose the easiest difficulty mode the upgrade scrap collected tells you how many resources the settlement still needs to generate before it would be eligible for an upgrade so there are a couple of aspects to upgrading cities and again i'll cover that in the city plan video but one of them is that a certain amount of scrap needs to be generated it will automatically generate this scrap in the background but you can also donate more yourself to speed that particular process up stored food stored water armor equipment rating these are all related to donated supplies and then the tax and vendor income is telling you how much profit you're making per day on this particular settlement from your plots now donate supplies again i'll probably set up a separate video just to describe all of this because there's a lot involved with that and it touches a lot of different systems but just know that if you activate this you can donate essentially anything you have so you can donate armory weapons food water junk caps etc and all of them will have various benefits upon your settlement all right and then lastly we have the building plans so this drawer down here will allow you to tell sim settlements which building plans it can use in various places so this first menu building plans allows you to essentially ban a particular building plan from ever being built in any of your settlements so if you have a particular one you really don't like you can find it in these lists here and then you add it over to the banned list and it won't build anymore so on the right there are all the options available so you just find the ones you don't ever want to see again pull them out of that container and then when you exit out of here some settlements will no longer build that one if you decide you want to reset things, you can use this reset building plans options, which will put back all of the ones you've removed. Then next we have local plans. This would only apply to the settlement you're standing in right now, but it's essentially the same interface as I just showed you, but it would allow you to ban an individual plan just in that settlement as opposed to across all of your settlements. And then again, reset local plans allows you to undo that work and restore the plans at the local settlement so that they're available despite whatever you set before. All right, so that should give you a brief overview of what you can do with the city planner's desk. There's a lot of things that are unique to this, especially the things like the donating supplies and the setting up your city plan that can only be done through this desk. And so you're definitely going to need to use it for those particular things. Obviously, the hollow tape you can continue to use without this and the crafting you can also do at the chemistry workstation. Uh, but other than that, all those other features I showed you are unique to the city planner's desk. So it's likely something you're going to want inside of every settlement that you use some settlements in now there were some stuff I didn't cover in there so watch in the future for videos to talk about things like that things like the city plans the donation system and other features that are a little bit more advanced so there are videos available right now at the time of this recording for rise of the Commonwealth in a separate playlist that you could go check out if you want to learn more about those now but I, I do plan on re-releasing videos covering those things in case any of those features have changed in, in a significant way that you guys might want updates on. But other than that, stay tuned for additional videos and we'll continue to get you guys up to speed on everything that's in some settlements.